man has always battled nature in a bid to conquer it. I'm explorer Ed Stafford, and I've put myself through extreme tests of endurance and isolation to become a survival expert. But surviving on my own, in the middle of nowhere, with just a camera, has become well within my comfort zone. That was easy. I want to evolve, to take things a step further and find out what I'm really made of. So I've decided to go up against the world's toughest survivalists. It's not about beating my chest. It's about taking my skill set to the next level. Whoa. In the most authentic, realistic survival challenge possible. <laughs>
It's pouring down and I'm making a shelf as quickly as I can. And there are a lot of like nasty scorpions and centipedes and even crabs. So I'm building this platform off the ground. These leaves, they're gonna end up like the mattress woven in. And then I'm gonna climb on top. My roof is also gonna catch water. Even now, these bigger leaves are already collecting puddles. So I won't have any problem collecting water tomorrow morning. Morning. I feel utterly relieved that I've got onto this mainland. That was nerve wracking yesterday, to say the least. We're gonna head into the jungle and head down to the cove. That's my strategy to get to the target. Looking at the trackers, and Ed's decided to go inland. It's really hard going in there, and everything just slows down to a real cruel pace. Whoa. A lot of these rocks are coming away literally in my hand. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm heading sort of northeast. I absolutely, absolutely have to find water. Well, it opens up into a mangrove. The tide is coming in. And by the time it hits the mangroves, that also means the crocs are coming in. They probably only have maybe 20 minutes to get out of here, maybe less. Mm. I'm aiming for the ridge line because I can make more speed. Ow! A lot of them have got spikes on their side of them as well, so they're just ripping my arms up. Ah. Ah. <laughs> Lo and behold, it's open. You can see through the trees and the sea down there as well. We are very close to a beach now. I never thought I'd be so pleased to see the sea again. All right, we've got to head north and keep moving upward. Oh boy. Right here. We are getting out of this mangrove. Finally at the east coastline. By the end of tomorrow, I'm going to be on that island on the north side. But it doesn't look like I could swim there. What I do need to do is come up with my plan for my next move. This is when I have to turn on my mega creative, think outside of the box, survival engineering 101. So I'm just going to grab a bunch of junk on the beach. I don't know what I'm going to build yet. Everything is fair game right now. This looks great. Ooh, it's a little teetery, but this is good. It's like a surfboard. <laughs> yeah, but this will be great. I think I'm going to make a float. I'm gonna try and make a coconut crab trap. Coconut crabs are the largest species of crabs in the world. They're extremely tasty. Their diet is obviously coconut, and you can actually drink out of the abdomen in pure fat. I've made a, literally a ring out of the coconut. All I need to do is slide it down. It would normally drag this back to its lair, but in this case, it can't move the coconut. I'm gonna check on this um, every hour or so. One hour later. There's a coconut grab there. That thing is prehistoric. I can't, I, I'm not gonna grab it with my bare hands. That thing has got razor sharp pincers. Go, go, go. Too big. Okay. Oh, my heart is absolutely beating fast. Why is that feel so scary? I stuck a stick straight through the head to kill it immediately. Supper, supper time. It's a little sad that I didn't have any protein to add to my dinner until I noticed that I have hermit crabs right here. So I'm gonna throw them on the fire. I have that sense of urgency to get moving. But I do have to make this boat work. It's really good. Otherwise, I don't know that I'm even in the race anymore. That bit was cooked to perfection. <laughs> that was absolutely wonderful. 
that was a big day. It's a weird race in some ways because we're coming from opposing ends of a big long chain of islands and I've got no idea how she's doing. I'm not that chivalrous. <laughs> I do want to win. This is when I up the ante and move fast. I'm going to build a raft, I'm going to make sure it's strong, I'm going to make sure it's seaworthy. I'm grinding up some charcoal because I'm going to try and minimise the, um, the reflection from the sun. It looks ridiculous, but getting sunburn in my eyes is a real risk, and I've got to do anything to uh, combat that. OK, I need to up the pace now. Bamboo is particularly good because each one of these nodes is filled with air and it's sealed, which means it's an inherently buoyant chamber and therefore it's perfect for a flotation device. Do you see the bark off a tree? It's really strong. It's flexible enough to lash with it. I'm quite happy with the raft now. I've probably gone overboard with the lashings, but they don't want it to come apart. OK, let's do this. Clearly, launching out into the ocean holds lots of risk. But I'm determined to work with the elements rather than against them. OK, it's floating. It's floating. Ahead of me just there is the island, and I'm hoping that once I get there, I'll be able to go around and I'll be able to see the uh, shipwreck. <clears throat> The locals of this area used to make these incredible sailing vessels. This is the technique I need. Go faster to the finish line. I have the materials I need, I just sew them together. It does kind of look like a spinnaker, like sort of side sail for low wind, which is used by pirates, I think. And the math is going to go through here. A few moments later. If I don't connect everything properly, I could lose the entire boat and just be like holding on to driftwood. So I have to take the time to do this right. It's pitch dark, absolutely pitch dark. I don't want to have flailing legs in the water. Well, there's a shark in the area. I don't mind admitting that I am now properly scared. I don't even know how close I am to land. I can't just float here all night. I can't just... Got ah. Just about finished. I've got to tie this down and then the boat's done. I'm exhausted. I want this boat to work more than anything. I hope to set sail tomorrow morning. You can see there's a white or lighter strip in front of me, which looks like a beach. Yes, it is a beach. Oh no, I can get out of the water. I've made it. <laughs> it's almost finished. The tide's going out, I just have to get out now. Kind of nerve wracking at the moment. Should be good. I'm gonna get out before the tide goes down. Whew. I'm heading north to the island. Oh my gosh, look at that. This wind is totally picking up. The current's pushing into shore, but this boat's still moving out. I, <laughs> I totally made a functioning sailboat out of trash. Oh, I'm so excited. Taking the time to build it speeds me up in the long run. Oh yeah. I need to get to that island. I should be able to see the shipwreck from that island, and if indeed that is the case, the end is in sight. I can smell the finish line. I know that I'm close. All right, so last tack in. Almost here. And the tide's going. Let's go. So, I'm gonna work my way across this island. Can't wait to see you, Ed Stafford. 
I'm approaching the island now. I might have to abandon the raft because I'm going to get smashed on these rocks if I don't. OK, I'm going. All I've got to do is cross this island, and I've got it. I am so close to the finish. I've got absolutely no way of telling whether I'm in front or whether the cat is in front. All I can do is go hell for leather until the end. Wait, where is it? I'm looking. I don't even see it. Oh, it's all the way over there. Are you kidding me? I'm coming down onto the beach again now, and I can see it. I can see the shipwreck. All right, so strong, all that violent water's coming through. There's the wreck. Oh. Oh. Better move it. So close, wow. The shipwreck looks almost mystical in the scroll that's come off the ocean. Last few meters. Oh. Almost there. Oh. Well done, Cad. Well done. Give me a hug. Well done. Thank you. Oh, man. You did it. You did it. You did it. We were worried about you, actually. Coming across that reef as the tide was coming in. I, yeah, it was really rough. <laughs> I may have won this one, but my next challenge won't be any easier.